Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, welcome to another video and this one is on benchmark for the HP Slate 7. So uh, we're gonna go through our usual three, uh, starting off with actually usually Quadrant start off, then we're gonna go to Antutu, and then we're gonna go over 3D Mark. So let's check each one of these out and see how they score. So for the first one, Quadrant, let's take a look at the system information within uh, the device. So this is the HP Slate 7. And uh, this does have a 1.6 uh, dual core uh, processor. And this is um, the ARM 7 architecture, so a little bit older um, comparing. And again, this wasn't made to be like the fastest uh, tablet out. And it does have an Android 4.1.1. So not 4.2, but uh, since it's fairly stock, it should be good. Um, on the graphics card, we have the Mali, or Mali, whatever, however you pronounce it, uh, 400 uh, with OpenGL ES 2.0. All right, so let's check out and check out the full benchmark. And it's curious because, you know, since it has these older specs, um, it's curious to see where it's going to fall under. Uh, will we see it, you know, closer to um, tablets of last year or even two years ago? Um, so we'll see how that goes. And there, so you can see the frames per second at the bottom. This will be the second time running each benchmark test just because it's uh, easier to get a bit of an average um, on them. I hope you can see that okay. One hand. All right. And let's see the score. And so this device scored uh, 3,792. A little bit under the ASUS from uh, last year. So um, kind of guessed right. And you can see where the uh, first Galaxy Tab 10.1 falls in comparison to it, um, as well as the original Atrix 4G, not the Atrix 2, but the original. Um, and of course the HTC One X from last year as well. So uh, definitely on the lower end of the spectrum for exact scores. You can see, hopefully you can see that. Um, no, it's just too white. Um, but let's check out the next test. And that is in 2.2. All right, so this is my last test. Let's test it out again though. Start the test and see how it goes. And now the bouncing jelly beans.
in that part pretty well. Now the just the SD card, write and read. And now the read speed. It's taking a lot longer on the SD card than it should. I guess I should be hoping for bad performance, not that it froze, which, yeah, there you go. All right, so 11.663, and there we have our CPU, GPU, RAM, and I.O. And now submitted that score, and let's check out the chart and see where it lies. So, in comparison to most devices, it uh, lands over the uh, Galaxy Note 1 and the S2 and the Samsung uh, Galaxy Nexus, but uh, far, uh, well not far below, but below um, both the Nexus 7 and 10, the Asus Prime and the S3 from last year. So let's check out the 3D uh, mark. Um, as I talked to with some of you guys before on these benchmark tests, unfortunately I cannot show uh, the 3D mark test um, as unfortunately it's gotten taken down before. So I'm just showing you the results um, that I've run uh, two tests on to uh, get. So let's check out the results. So as you can see, um, the highest score scored on the uh, regular uh, Ice Storm score was 29.55 and the highest one on the extreme was 21.35. So 2955 comparing to other devices out there, um, you can see like compared to things like the HTC One and the S4 that are in the 10,000s, uh, uh, 2900 is not gonna be that good, of course. Um, but let's check out the extreme one. And um, that one is closer, just again, it doesn't get anywhere too far. Um, it's still around the 2100, which the, the other devices that I just mentioned are around the 6000s on here. So there you have it. Uh, these are the uh, 3D uh, benchmark scores for this device. If you have any questions on the device, uh, feel free to ask. This has been R-A-C-K-Y, the Android guy.